All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this beauty that is on the fire. Today we are cooking onubu soup. As you can see, the onubu, um, this is the enugu anambra type of onubu, where the stock is there and it's washed. And um, inside the pot is a mixture of the soup brought assorted kind of meat we have the shaki we have the stockfish we have the beef we have the mangala which Mama. is the which is the fish we have the bomo or you can call it monmo and we have the beef we also have some uh, beautiful seasoning inside all your seasoning when you're cooking um, soup. So today we are going to use cocoyam powder as a thickener for the onubu. So here is the coconut powder being added into into the soup. And you can, there are a lot of ways you can do this. You can either mix it in water, mix it in warm or cold water, then pour in, or you can just put it the way it's been done now. The reason is so that you don't have, uh, because as the coconut, the cocoyam flour touches the water, it kind of cooks immediately and solidifies. So to help you um overcome this you can either use those two methods or you can just take uh, part of the soup uh, into a plate then put the cocoyam inside the cocoyam uh, powder inside and then turn it very well and you will not get that um, seed like um, lumps. Uh, the lumps you will not get the lumps but with this if you turn it as quick as possible minding every of those powder because the powder as it touches the hot water it turns into lumps immediately so these are the systems you can use try them and see which of these system will work for you the essence of the cocoyam powder uh, we can also use the normal cocoyam whereby you pound the cocoyam into paste put the paste inside there turn the soup and the paste will automatically um, dissolved by itself and then thicken. The cocoyam is one of the best thickness for onubu soup. Um, people from Abia, Imo, Eboin State also use what we call the Achi or there's another one called the Ofo. So you can use the Achi or you can use the Ofo to thicken. Mainly, we use it for okaze soup um, and other ones. But here, people from Enugu love to cook their onubu soup with cocoyam. It is it tastes heavenly. I must tell you, it tastes heavenly. And um, if you allow this to boil a little bit, as you can see, it, 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 it's thickening. It's thickening already. Uh, the soup is thickening already so you have to wait you have to now allow this to cook for some minutes between 20 minutes to 30 minutes I know most of you will say why is it that the Nigerian soup African soup always take a long time is because we want the consistency the thickening the consistency of the soup as the soup cooks you get the broth to mix very well, the consistency is there, and um, you enjoy it. Now we are going over to prepare the pounded yam. This is using the pounded yam powder. Pour the pounded yam, you boil your water, there's a two system to do this. You boil your water, then you put the pounded yam, and you turn, then you use microwave to cook it. or you can put the pounded yam in cold water, pounded yam flour in cold water, and then 
turn it and start cooking it with, uh, in the microwave. So or any way you like, do the best, the one that you like most. Or you can also do that and put it on top of the fire and gradually turn it until the pounded yam cooks. Whatever boils your kettle, please do. So we wait for this to, to cook very well now. Then we can, you know, test it on your behalf. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the, as you can notice now, the thickening has taken another dimension. And then um, the osmotic pressure between the pot and everything is working. Anybody who understands chemistry will laugh at that now. Uh, the tonicity and the the isotonic and isopropenic nature of the whole thing. Now back to it. Uh, if you notice inside, you will not see the bits. You not see the bits. All you're seeing is a very good consistency of thickening of the uh, of the uh, broth, the soup broth. It's a very good consistency of thickening. This is because we allowed the cocoa yam to cook very well and thicken. It thickens. If you still want this to be, if you still want this to, you know, if, if the size of the, the, the soup you are expecting is not much, you can add warm water. The reason for adding warm water is because when you're cooking the temperature of the soup broth is elevated when you add cold water you reduce the temperature almost like saying you you are i'm trying to find a chemical word right now to put in you reduce the temperature but now we want to increase the temperature and let the temperature be at a little bit at equilibrium that's why you use hot water or warm water to pour in and uh you be able to continue cooking and now we are going to spice this up a little bit with dry oziza oziza is a fresh oziza that it's um oziza is one of the one of the leaves that is medicinal uh, we're adding this into here now because it gives it a text there's a little texture of taste it's gonna give so we can cut that add it there before we now add the onubu and there is a meat now we're going to add the onubu after the onubu i'm going to tell you about a meat a meat in Igbo land when you're cooking onubu soup the meat is okay we are sprinkling the onubu now we are sprinkling the onubu uh, as you notice as you've noticed, the onubu is sprinkled in around the pot, more like closing the pot. And if you notice again, this onubu is the, the long one with the stock. This is predominantly from people from Enugu State and Anambra State. They are the ones that have this kind of onubu with stock. The one for people for Abia, Imo, Ebony State. Uh, the tiny onubu where the stock is taken out and you you process it from fresh the anambra one is they take up the, they take up the whole thing leave the stock in let it dry a bit before they start washing there are lots of ways i'm not going to go into that now because i don't want this to be too long so the meat is that when you put onubu you don't turn it you allow it to cook for a little while before you turn it. They say if you turn it, it's going to get so bitter. In the modern world, I want you to I want you to put in the comment box if you have put onubu before and turn it, if it did turn um, bitter. I I know the bitter leaf before the onubu is bitter, something as bitter leaf for those who don't understand it. Uh, this is the this is the oziza leaf that we are cutting now it was uh, frozen so you put it in warm water to make it tough 
tall a little bit then you you cut it when you cut it put it inside here the scent the aroma the 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 medicinal quality that it brings you to your food is second to none so we we'll put this now and then show you how it is you see that meat that meat i thought this was gonna be called turned but the meat still stays there so if you can serve this meat please let me know so after some minutes we are back now turning it if you can see the consistency is there again and the oh the aroma coming up from this pot is heavenly <laughs> i'm telling you the aroma coming out from this pot the aroma can get to kilometers i'm sure my neighbors are all sniffing their their nose now trying to know where this aroma is coming from this aroma is delicious is is spiritual it's lovely so after a while now we bring down this and when you now eat this look at it look at it the consistency the color it's what makes ofo nubu the ofo nubu a very expensive soup you know, with all the fish, um, shaki, bon mon, um, beef, cow leg, cow tail, cow nose, everything. And you have the oporo, you can cut the oporo and put also, and um, you love it. So, for this pounded yam, for this um, onubu soup, we are going to eat it with pounded yam so we're gonna eat it on your behalf that's one of the good things about the whole thing is we will eat it on your behalf and then we tell you how beautiful it is that is not the soup is yet <laughs> Yeah, this is Love Day TV, Love Day and I'm coming from Love Day TV, from the Love Day kitchen, all the way down to your home because the soup is ready. This is the one that is called Nsiegi Mikwegi Ye. Ntiega Kawa Ye by force. If you can see the viscosity, the 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 texture of this soup is so beautiful. The, the beauty of this is that when you eat this with pounded yam, you get this going into your stomach in a rhythmic manner. The rhythm, the rhythm of the food as it lands in your esophagus, it works in this kind of form. Ilichanya, inichanya. If you are not making bone, you are not warm. You begin to to have a good body. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is the onubu soup. If you can see the 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 the, the, the soup is kajad. You eat the soup with the loy loy or pounded yam. Or you can you can you, you can eat it with you can eat it with apple the original apple from Igbo land. Hmm? When you eat it with the original apple from Igbo land, you enjoy. So thank you for watching once again. This is Love Day from Love Day TV saying thank you once again for staying tuned and for being in our midst as we could. We are going to eat it and test it on your behalf and then tell you how beautiful this. Thank you once again. This is Love Day from Love Day TV signing off. Goodbye. All right. Don't go yet. There is something you need to do for me. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell on top so that next time a video comes out, you will be the first to know, not to get notified of the video. And then please share with your friends. Is this the way you cook your onubu soup? If this is not the way you cook your onubu soup, let us know how you cook your onubu soup. And um, 
tag me on tag me on this video if you cook your own onobu soup so that i can see it i can like it i can comment also you can put the hashtag hashtag love day tv l u r v d a y t v once you put that i'll be able to get that and i'll comment and i'll like i'll share your video thank you once again ladies and gentlemen this is love the onion signing out goodbye